So this is what you need. Um, I always use the glasses to take the rice out of the bag. This is the bag here. Now you're gonna make this so quickly. Um, you want um, two uh, normal socks or you can just use one of these. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna try and show you different ways. If I don't, if I only manage to do the one, then of course there is different things that you can play with. A bag of um, elastic bands. You probably need fishing wire, but I use nylon thread. But I'm gonna show you the quick way, but it's better to wrap round with fishing wire as well. Pair of scissors, um, socks that are sort of um, a fleecy type as you can see here and then a pair of these. Now I get these um, from the Poundland so it's very uh, very cheap and I think you get uh, two pairs for a pound or three pairs for two pound which doesn't really make sense it's better to buy the one pound is it? I don't know. Anyway, so I've what I've done is I've cut it off just below um, the heel on the big sock so you can see that can you see the size of it? So I've cut it off just by the heel. Now this is to make a smaller one, you can make a larger one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, cup and you're gonna fill it full of rice and tip it in. And then what you wanna be doing, your rice you can just pick up from any uh, supermarket or you can go down to a specialist shop that may specialize in um, uh, you know, rice or something like that where you can get bigger bags. Um, or if you're part of a wholesaler, you might be able to do that. Um, so you just pop it in like so. Whoa! This is getting a bit full. Um, right, so it's very, very similar to what my snowmen are. I'm gonna put a link to my snowmen in the description in this one. So if you can see, if you pat it down, it gets a little bit um, sort of fatter and that's what you want uh, from the gnome. You want him to be a little bit fatter. So as I fill this up, ooh, ooh, and bang it down. Let's see, because you want to tie it at the top. Let's see if I can get it bashed down anymore. Yes, I can. See, so that's why you've got to keep playing around with it, because you want it to be, I'm hoping you can see it, the rice is falling out there. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. So now, I'm going to tie a knot in the top of the sock, like so. I'm going to put an elastic band around it. This is when you probably want to use fishing wire and tie fishing wire around it to give it a little bit more security. Because whether an elastic band, oh, there we go, it's just broken on me, is going to last for years. Um, it might not do. So let me just use a, I'll use a white one. Not that that's going to make any difference and not make it do that on me. So here we go, there we go. So then you can cut the excess off that if you want to, but it doesn't matter if you don't. So you want him obviously quite plump, but you now want to make his nose. So, oh, by the way, you need a glue gun as well. So I'm going to take a smaller elastic band and... You want to make his nose quite high up on the smaller ones, which I'll show you why in a moment. So your, your nose, of course, is the, the prominent part of the gnome, isn't it? That's the bit that we all sort of laugh at because he's got no, uh, his eyes are hidden underneath his hat. So here we go. Tie it around. Oh, I'm gonna need a bigger elastic band than that. Let me find one. Um, I'm going to have to use yellow, I prefer to use white. I left my, because I'm at work at the moment and I left all my um, other elastic bands at home. So tie it round. I think I'm going to, no, I'm going to leave it at that. There we go, so that's his nose, if you can see. So your, your um, little gnome is now coming together. So what you want to do is take your socks stuff everywhere here on my dressing room trying to do this down at work when I finish work. So what you want to do is get your socks. So do we want a grey hat and a pink outfit? I think that would be quite cool. Or do you want a pink hat and a grey outfit? Let's go. Oh hang on. I don't know which one to do. Mm, I think I'm gonna go pink hat. So you can there's several ways you can do this as well. You can actually take Oh, I've got one of those, you know one of those um, your clear bits that hold the socks together? There we go. Let's take that out. 
So you can actually, if you wanted to, because you want it to come up to um, his nose. So you can, so what I'll do is I'm actually going to cut this just after the heel. And then that might be a little bit too big yet. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in. No, actually that's fine. And then what you're going to do is you're going to glue gun. So that's now in his um, grey little suit. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put glue around here to make sure that this is stuck underneath his nose. This also covers up the elastic band as well. And then I'm going to go around the sides, around the back, and around the sides again. There we go. It doesn't matter whether you've got some um, coming out the top, that really doesn't matter. And then you're going to take your um, pink sock. Now you could have done the whole thing because you could you could have done the whole thing with this because you could have wrapped the actual so you could have had it all grey wrapped it around here because you don't have to have the bottom covered and then you could have put the top part on the top if you wanted to but I'm actually going to use um, all of this so then you take the sock and you're going to wind it over as if it's like a bobble hat and then you're going to stick it. Oh, hang on, I need my fur first. My fur first, fur, 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 fur. And I'm going to use the white fur that I've got. Sorry, I forgot about your fur. <laughs> so much to remember. So, obviously your fur is going to be his, his beard. So let's have a look at how far down that wants to be. So it probably wants to come to about there. So I'm just going to cut, I'm going to cut the fur around the other way. I'm going to cut it down to where, I'm going to guess, I'm guess work is all this. I know that's bad and the show will probably go, ah, but I am guess working this. So I'm going to cut down here. If it's too big, then I can always cut some off when I put it on him. And... You want to kind of have a ridge in the middle so it goes and I'm going to put it underneath his hat so I'm going to sit it around about there that's long enough for me I'm going to put all see how quick you can do this well I'm going to put oh need some more glue that just take off these wee edges it on. <laughs> My god, he's coming together. Look at him, he's fabulous. And then go with his hat. So he can have a floppy hat. what you want to do is glue this into place. Glue that side first. And glue the his nose. And that's your nose. You could actually stick padding into that if you wanted to, if you wanted to stick the hat up, but I quite like him with a floppy hat. He is so cute and you can use him as a doorstop as well. You can also make bigger ones, um, uh, a lot bigger. In fact, 
So this is your slightly bigger. So you need the same sort of stuff, but you're going to fill the sock completely. Um, so here goes your rice. And you're going to tip it in. might need a couple of bags of rice but I think I picked this one up five kilograms for four pound from um, Sainsbury's well I did I think, but I think it was four pound it's definitely Sainsbury's that I got it from made one of these at home for myself and he sits um, he sits as a doorstop. right up to the very top of the sock you want to go well, you can see what I'm doing now let me move this back up it's not the greatest place to record isn't it here it's not like recording at home there we go you can see all the messiness in my dressing room as well oh shoot <laughs> oh shit Missed that completely, didn't I? There we go. Right. It's important that you get it all the way down. I'm going to tie them off at the top. You could fill them all the way to the top if you wanted to. Don't, don't forget you could use uh, fishing wire as well. So I'm just going to cut off. Oh, actually, I might leave that because it might give a little bit more sort of substance. Don't forget you can stick things in the hat. Now, what you're going to do is lie them down and then you're going to grab a big bit in the middle for his nose. <laughs> fishing wire as well this is actually the heel part you know the heel part of the sock that I'm doing so that's his nose and then oh I'm full of rice I really need to clean this up in a minute <laughs> then you're going to take the sock that you had for the other one where you cut it off and you're going to pull it on Because you don't have to have him dressed all the way down. You can see a little bit. And you're going to take your glue gun. And you're going to take your glue gun. And you're going to do the same as what you did before for the smaller one. I'm not even being you know, careful. I'm doing this very, very quickly. You can get these done in a matter of minutes. So you could, if you were doing a craft fair or anything like that, I did some of the snowmen for Frankie Jack's um, school. I'll give you the details for the snowmen at the bottom of the description. <laughs> Come on, stay in. There we go. Mm. 
then I've got a pink bit for his beard and you want to just snip in the middle just to cut out for his nose just a little bit like a little ring like so and then I'm just going to glue along the actual beard bit and I'm going to place it under and place it round you see And then I'm going to take the hat again. You want the um, sock part to the back, the heel part to the back, and you're going to go over a couple of times. And then, actually, you don't, probably don't need that couple of times so much on this one. And then you're going to stick it over his head. And you're going to cover up the back. And of course your heels, heels at the back. Doesn't he look good? Hey? And then you're going to glue this one into place. Like so. Another glue stick. Oh no, I'm okay as yet. And voila! Let me try and move all this back so you can see them in all their glory. You never meet a, 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 um, uh, somebody that's not messy when they're a crafter, do you? And that, those are my two gnomes. Those are my two gnomes that I've made, one big, one small. You could also stuff their hat so their hat stands up if you wanted to. They've got no eyes and they're so easy and so inexpensive to make. Um, I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. And don't forget, you could also use them as a doorstop. Don't forget to subscribe and give us your thumbs up. And don't forget to write in the comments section below. And also, if you wanted to make snowmen, the description is in, um, well, it's in the below. It, the link is in the description. Or should I say it that way around? Yeah, that's right. See you tomorrow.